The Trevi Thick Society is a registered charity named for Richard Trevi Thick, a Cornish engineer who contributed to the use of high pressure steam engines for transportation and mining applications. History In 1935 the Cornish Engines Preservation Committee CEPC was formed to rescue the Levant winding engine which was deemed outdated and scheduled to be scrapped. CEPC were forerunners in the field of industrial archaeology. They acquired another winding engine and two pumping engines. CEPC merged with the newly formed Cornish Waterwheel Preservation Society in 1971 and named the organisation the Trevi Thick Society after Richard Trevi Thick. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Chapel Coombe. At Chapel Coombe, a set of old Cornish stamps has been re-erected by the Trevi Thick Society. Dolkoth pumping engine Dolkoth was the largest and deepest mine in Cornwall, with its principal shaft, known as New Sump Shaft, eventually reaching a depth of 3,300 feet 1, meters below the surface. The pumping engine that worked this shaft dated from 1815. A piece of the cast iron bob from this engine is preserved in the collection of the Trevithick Society. Topic. Membership Although founded in Cornwall, members are located across England and the world. An annual celebration is held to celebrate Richard Trevithick's life in Cornwall at Camborne. Membership is offered to students, individuals and corporations domestically and internationally. Members receive the quarterly newsletter. All members, except students who receive a discounted membership fee, receive the annual journal. Members may attend Cornish Engines free, Givor Tin Mine free, lectures, activities and the Society's annual meeting. <laughs> <laughs> journal of the Trevi Thick Society The organization produces the Journal of the Trevi Thick Society annually and a newsletter quarterly. The purpose of the journal is, for the study of history of industry and technology in Cornwall. Topic publications Climax Rock Drill Company, Trevi Thick Society. Climax Illustrated. Trevi Thick Society, 2006. ISBN 978-0-904040-66-1. John Corrin. Levant, A Champion Cornish Mine. Trevi Thick Society, 1992. ISBN 978-0-904040-37-1. Richard John Cunnock, Justin Brooke, Trevi Thick Society. The Cunnock Manuscript, from notes taken between 1845 and 1907. Trevi Thick Society, October 1993. ISBN 978-0-904040-36-4. Brian Earle. Cornish Explosives, A History from 1900 to 1976. Trevi Thick Society, 2006. ISBN 978-0-904040-68-5. Thomas Roberts Harris. Sir Goldsworthy Gurney, 1793-1875. Trevi Thick Society, Federation of Old Cornwall Societies, 1975. ISBN 978-0-904040-05-0. Peter Joseph. Hard Graft, Batalic Mine in the 20th Century. Trevi Thick Society, 2010. ISBN 978-0-904040-82-1. Peter Joseph. Mining Accidents in the St. Just District, 1831–1914. Trevi Thick Society, 1 January 1999. ISBN 978-0-904040-48-7. Frank Mitchell, Trevi Thick Society. Mitchell, A Family of Cornish Engineers 1740–1910. 
Trevi Thick Society, June 1984 LPS Piper. A Short History of the Camborne School of Mines. Trevi Thick Society, 1975 Nigel Tangy, Trevi Thick Society, Institute of Cornish Studies. Cornwall Newspapers, 18th and 19th Century, Gazetteer and Finding List. Trevi Thick Society, 1 December 1980 Trevi Thick Society. Cornish Pumping Engines. Trevi Thick Society, 1985. ISBN 978-0-904040-25-8. Trevi Thick Society. Cornish Pumping Engines and Rotative Beam Engines, containing a reprint of a book published in 1953 by the Cornish Engines Preservation Society. Trevi Thick Society, 1998. ISBN 978-0-904040-46-3. John Hubert Trunson. Cornish Engines and the Men Who Handled Them. Trevi Thick Society, 1 January 1985. ISBN 978-0-904040-26-5, J. H. Trunson, Trevi Thick Society. Mining in Cornwall 1850-1960. Dillansau Truran, 1989. ISBN 978-1-85022-049-7. Gallery See also Association for Industrial Archaeology IA, the Journal of the Society for Industrial Archaeology Lean's Engine Reporter <laughs>